Imagine being stranded in the middle of the ocean, surrounded by flames. This is the terrifying reality for many crews on roll-on slash roll-off vessels. The latest incident involves the Fremantle Highway, a Panama flag ship that caught fire in the North Sea, carrying nearly 4,000 cars, including 498 electric vehicles. The fire broke out just before midnight, forcing all crew members to abandon ship. Tragically, one crew member lost their life and several others were injured. The cause of the fire remains unknown, but initial reports suggest it may have started in the battery of an electric car. This incident is not an isolated one. Fires on row row vessels have been a recurring issue, with several high-profile cases in recent years. In July 2023, the Italian-flagged Grande Costa d'Avorio caught fire while loading vehicles in Port Newark, New Jersey, resulting in the deaths of two firefighters. The Felicity Ace, another Panama-flagged vessel, caught fire in February 2022 while carrying luxury cars like Porsches and Lamborghinis. The ship eventually sank. In June 2020, the Ho Xiamen caught fire in Jacksonville, Florida, due to an electrical fault in a used vehicle's battery. The fire took over a week to extinguish. The Grimaldi vessel, Grande Europa, experienced two separate fires in May 2019 while sailing near Palma de Mallorca, Spain, both starting from new vehicles. The Grand America sank in the Bay of Biscay in March 2019 after a cargo fire broke out, carrying around 2,100 vehicles and 860 tons of dangerous goods. The Sincerity Ace caught fire in December 2018 in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, leading to the tragic loss of five crew members. In February 2017, the US-flagged car carrier Honor caught fire en route from Southampton to Baltimore, causing extensive damage to its cargo of 5,000 vehicles. The Courage, another ARC car carrier, suffered a fire in June 2015, resulting in $40 million in damages and the eventual scrapping of the vessel. In 2020, the Ark Independence experienced a cargo hold fire while underway, which was contained to a single vehicle thanks to the crew's quick actions. Later that year, the Ho transporter caught fire while being fumigated in Jacksonville, but the fire was extinguished without further damage. These incidents highlight the significant risks associated with transporting vehicles, especially electric ones on row row vessels. The growing popularity of electric vehicles poses new challenges for maritime transport, requiring updated safety regulations and procedures. Investigations into these fires often reveal lapses in safety protocols, such as improperly disconnected batteries and delayed fire suppression efforts. The NTSB has called for greater inspection, oversight and enforcement to reduce the risk of fires on Roro -ro vessels. As the maritime industry evolves, it must adapt to the unique challenges posed by electric vehicles to ensure the safety of crews and cargo. Stay informed and stay safe. Subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates on maritime safety and industry news.